British and Indian troops of the 15th Indian Corps opened the assault on Rangoon with a thrust up the Rangoon River. Landings were synchronized with a land attack from the north by 14th Army men. In a friendly race, the Indian Corps was first into the city. Simultaneous landings were made at many points. The men are on a Jap hunt. Even the dogs got a spot of hunting to do. Allied fighter bombers cracked down on Jap remnants. The land-sea pincer movement took the enemy by surprise and won out with unexpectedly light casualties. The first monsoon rains had started. Landing beaches and paddy fields are turned into treacherous seas of mud. The men in the bedraggled olive green battle dress will tell you that Rangoon mud sticks closer than a brother. Those up to their waists in it get a helping hand from local youngsters. Mud, mud, and still more mud. But Rangoon is the capital of Burma and biggest prize of the whole campaign. As usual, the number of Japanese prisoners taken was small. This boatload of sons of heaven are blindfolded to keep their prying eyes off British ships and military equipment. They look meek enough now, but Rangoon civilians will never forget the brutalities they suffered in the three years they lived under Japanese rule. If anybody at home gets a letter from a 14th Army man about the headless gentleman of Rangoon, don't think he's pulling your leg. Here they are. The record drive on Rangoon covered 300 miles in 25 days. A magnificent climax to the 14th Army's tough campaign in Burma. <laughs> 